So once again, quickly, I will okay recap whatever we have discussed. Okay, silicon controlled rectifier. Why it is called silicon controlled rectifier? Because this device provides rectification. Not only it provides rectification, we can have control over how much how much cycle we want. Okay, suppose. Half wave rectifier will give you a half cycle. If you don't want the entire half cycle, suppose we want only 70% of that half cycle, you can use this device and you can get that. Okay. So controlled rectification is possible using this device, hence, and it is made up of silicon. So hence it is silicon controlled rectifier. Structure very easy. P region, N region, P region, N region. Okay, right? It is like two PN junctions to stick together, right? P region, N region, P region, N region. Like for a PN junction, how the outermost P region is anode and the outermost N region is cathode, same here. Okay, outermost P region, anode, and then the outermost N region, cathode, the negative terminal, right? Additionally, you have a control for this control terminal, the gate terminal, okay? I told you, silicon controlled rectifier, you can have control over the rectification. So how to control that? You can use this gate terminal, okay? And based on the amount of gate current we supply, you can have the control over the rectification in this particular device. So, next, what about the regions? The first and last region heavily doped. See here, the plus represents the holes, okay? They are placed close to each other. More number of holes here, heavily doped. Minus represents free electrons. More number of free electrons, okay? There are more, isn't it? Closely packed, so they are more heavily doped. Middle two regions lightly doped, isn't it? Only we have six, six, okay? Indicating lightly doped. Of course, in a real device, okay, there are large number of charge carriers, but for representation, they have given only six, okay, right? But you can observe more number of plus here, more number of minus here, fewer number of minus, fewer number of plus. Okay, from this, we are indicating that the first region, last region are heavily doped. Middle two regions are lightly doped. Okay, right. And coming to the functioning of this device. So first forward biased means when we connect positive voltage at anode, negative voltage at cathode. Okay, P side positive. N side negative, same polarity, PP, positive, positive, P side positive, that is forward bias, okay? Next, NN, right? So the entire device, when the entire device is forward bias, means we connect positive here, negative voltage here, like in this case, okay? Then what happens? J1, because P side positive, J1 is forward bias, okay? N side negative, so J3 also forward biased. But because the, this J1 is forward biased, the positive signal will reach N side. Okay. And because J3 is also forward biased, the negative signal will reach P side. Right. Now, with respect to J2, the positive signal is reaching N side. Negative signal is reaching P side, so J2 is okay, reverse bias. So what happens? J1, J3 forward biased, J2 reverse biased. Okay. When the gate terminal is unconnected, right? We did not connect anything here, or you say gate current is zero. 
that is the situation next so what is happening this junction is reverse biased right okay you know very well when you increase the voltage the reverse biased junction breaks down so when you gradually increase the voltage at one point this junction breaks down right so when we gradually increase the forward voltage vf okay at one point that middle junction j2 breaks down when that junction breaks down the voltage across the device reduces and current starts to flow rapidly see till here all the voltage is increasing the current is very small okay but once that middle junction reverse bias junction breaks down then the current can flow rapidly okay right this point is called as forward break over voltage okay the voltage at which j2 breaks down under the forward biased condition of the entire device okay that voltage is the break okay that voltage is the forward break over voltage represented by vb not right now what about the control terminal very easy okay right see control terminal usually we are connecting okay to forward bias j3 okay right so usually we connect the positive terminal to the gate now when you give forward bias okay the current will it increase or decrease anybody simple question when we give forward bias what will happen to current will it increase or reduce the current will increase okay right so next case we are studying the gate effect of gate terminal when you give gate current right okay then what happens more number of charge carriers are released right more number of charge carriers so it is like this see you know suppose uh, say the 10 people are trying to break a wall suddenly additional 20 people come to their help you can break the wall easily correct okay so based on this simple logic tell me what happens if we give gate current the breakdown voltage will occur at lower voltage or higher voltage please answer simple logic all of you watch movies right you know okay if somebody goes straight people are breaking the wall slowly they are breaking okay then suddenly 20 strong people will come to their help you can break the wall easily or difficult okay same logic when you give gate current the junction j2 will it break down at lower voltage or higher voltage will it break down easily or difficult easily means lower voltage difficult means higher voltage okay answer please yes please answer what happens when we give gate current okay right so what it is what it will do is it will break this junction it can break this junction easily okay so the break over voltage will now reduce right okay the break over voltage will now reduce see here when ij is zero this is the break over voltage when you don't give zero ij you give some additional ij you give gate current then the break over okay the characteristics will be like this right next when we further increase gate current then the characteristics will further the break over voltage will further shift towards left okay right so this is what happens in the forward biased condition right next 
under reverse bias condition, it somewhat similar to a PN junction diode. Okay, right. Okay, so first forward biased condition when the entire device was forward biased, J1, J3 are forward biased, J2 is reverse biased. Correct? Okay. Now use simple logic and one of your answer. When the entire device is reverse biased, what will happen? Okay. When the entire junction is reverse biased, then See, when entire junction is forward biased, J1, J3 are forward biased, J2 is reverse biased. So, the, when, the, when the entire device is, okay, again I repeat, when the entire device is forward biased, J1 is forward biased, J3 is forward biased, J2 is reverse biased. We have seen that already. When the entire device is reverse biased, reverse thing happens. J1, J3 will be reverse bias, J2 will be forward bias. Okay, right? And the characteristics will be somewhat similar to that of an ordinary PN junction diode. Okay. And this particular uh, voltage where the device breaks down, it is called as reverse breakdown voltage. Okay. And we have already discussed avalanche breakdown. Okay. Avalanche breakdown is responsible for this particular breakdown, right? So, one uh, issue with this particular uh, device is, see here, based on the gate, based on, okay, based on the gate current, we can decide the forward break over voltage. Right, more the gate current, the device will break down at lower voltage. Right, so the forward breakover voltage means when the device is turning on. Okay, see here, so far the it is like device is off, negligible current. When we gradually increase voltage, the characteristics of the device follows this path negligible current we can say that the device is off okay such condition is known as forward blocking region from here to here then what happens suddenly the device turns on okay the gate signal you can use to turn the device from off state to on state okay See, this is forward on state from here to here, right? But the same gate you cannot use to switch it from on to off. Off to on is possible using gate terminal, okay? Off to on is possible. On to off is not possible. So how to turn the device from, okay, on to off? Using the gate you can turn from off to on, but if you want to switch from on to off, the condition is you have to reduce the overall current. Okay, that is by using the the overall this current, the current which is coming at the anode. Okay, the overall current you have to reduce, right, to turn the device again to the off state, right? Now, when the device turns from off to on, the current is known as latching current, right? Now, further, if you want to make the device off, you have to reduce the anode current, okay? Which is the overall current flowing through this device. You have to reduce it below a current called holding current, IH, holding, okay? right holding it will till there it will hold in on when you take it below that current again the device will go into off okay right so this is about the uh, forward and reverse characteristics and this point the corresponding voltage okay below which below ih the device is okay turning from on to off 
that corresponding voltage is holding voltage VH. Okay. So the overall outline I have explained. Okay. Right. Next, what we will do is we will see the point by point. Okay. Uh, we have few minutes. So what I will do is I will explain a few more details probably in the next class. Okay. We will see point by point. Okay. And we will understand these characteristics in detail. Right. Uh, so, but see, because this is a new device for you, I suggest all of you, okay, to watch this video. I will upload this video, right, shortly. Watch this video until you understand this. If you understand this, the coming classes, okay, becomes very easy, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, this is one of the complicated device that we are studying, but it is easy, okay, right? As long as you are smart, think. This becomes very easy. Fine. Okay, so this is the uh, symbol of the SCR. Okay. See, same as a diode. Additionally, you know, PN junction diode, same symbol, but in addition, you are putting a gate terminal to control. PN junction you use as rectifier, isn't it? Okay. Same as PN junction diode, but the middle junction, when it breaks down, we are controlling using gate. Okay, so the symbol is like this, right? Very easy. Next, what do I mean by forward biased? Okay, you know very well, P side positive, N side negative, this is forward biased. Okay, what do I mean by reverse biased? Reverse biased, okay, you know very well. P side negative, N side positive, Opposite, P side negative, P N, P side negative, okay? N side positive, right? That is reverse bias. The overall reverse bias. Gate open, didn't connect anything. What about, what do we mean by, we will study two cases. Here. Gate open, gate closed. Gate open means we didn't connect anything here, okay? Only we are connecting say forward bias positive, negative, this circuit. Next, gate, okay. Next, next case is, next case is uh, gate open reverse bias. Gate open means didn't connect anything to the gate. Reverse bias means at P side negative, N side positive, this circuit. Gate open means didn't connect anything. Okay. Reverse bias means P side negative, N side positive, opposite, N side positive. Right. Okay. And what happens? Which junctions are, you know, for this, the same diagram we are representing here. Okay. The same thing we are representing here. But when I explained, I explained battery positive, negative. Okay. Here, we are give, actually connecting the positive, negative, same thing, same explanation. So what is happening? Positive at P side. So J1 forward biased. Negative at N side. So J3 also forward biased. J1, J3 forward biased. But the positive signal when it reaches this N because of that, okay, and then the negative signal reaches this P, J2 is reverse biased. Okay, all that is mentioned here. Next to simple logic, when forward by asked, J1, J3 forward by asked, J2 reverse by asked. So when the device is reverse by asked, J1, J3 will now be reverse by asked, J2 is forward by asked, very easy, okay, right? So this is when we didn't give, when we didn't connect anything to the gate terminal. Now suppose if we connect something and we provide gate current, okay, then the situation is like this. The situation is like this, right? To give the gate current, we are connecting, okay, another battery. But when we give gate current, what happens? Once this junction breaks down, large current flows. To protect that, we are putting resistor, okay? Current limiting resistor. To limit current, to protect the device, we are connecting this one. Right, okay. 
so this is the outline of the working of this device okay right we have seen both forward and reverse condition okay all the terms we have discussed next class we will see okay point by point in detail okay first of all i want uh, all, i want an opinion from all of you okay see i have explained everything point by point you want me to explain or uh, will you study and then ask me doubts okay i want this from all of you see outline of the device how it works everything what is latching current what is holding current okay what is forward breaker voltage right what is the corresponding current is ib not okay and then this is reverse breakdown but all these terms i have explained the same points you will have here so next class till do you want me to explain point by point is because this simple language you can study see what is holding current definition everything is given is it will you study shall we directly go to the next question 10 i want opinion quickly answer only less than 1 minute is remaining you want me to explain point by point or this is sufficient you will go through the video you will go through whatever okay is explain you will see the notes also i hope you have purchased this book okay right i hope everyone has this and then okay and links and everything i have shared already with you right okay i hope all of you have this book so we are quickly answer we want me to explain point by point detail or i will okay go on with whatever i have explained now okay you will study and if there is any doubt again we will put one more class so next class shall i start with 10th question or repeat